everyone hope you're doing good if you have tried to update your amd graphics card and you're getting this error the version of amd radeon software you have launched is not compatible with the graphics so i'll tell you one of the most easiest solution to fix that error this error generally comes when we have installed a wrong amd graphics driver all right so we need to roll back the driver first and i'll tell you the easiest way to do so this will work on windows 10 and windows 11 both so let's go ahead and do that so here in the start icon just do a right click and then go to device manager now once the device manager is open we need to look for display adapters and i find it right here display adapters and you need to click on the arrow key next to it now the moment you do that you will find your amd graphics right there this computer doesn't have amd but i'm just giving you an example you just need to do a right click and then we need to go to this properties and here under drivers we need to go to this rollback driver option and here you can select any other reason any reason will be fine like that and you just need to click on yes and this in this manner your problem will be resolved because you will roll back to the previous version of your amd graphics driver so this is the best solution and please make sure once you have rolled back you need to restart the computer and see if that issue is fixed or not for most of us for more than 90 percent people this will fix the problem and if you still have issues then i would recommend to open your browser and just take the name of your graphics driver in your device manager and you just need to type like that amd ryzen like that 55u amd graphics driver you just need to type amd graphics driver and you will find amd drivers and support so please make sure you only visit this amd.com i mean the website the way i have done it and here you can select the graphics section and here we need to select your uh, whatever the graphics uh, card you have you just need to select that and then you need to select the pre-version i mean the next model number and you just need to click on submit the moment you do that you will see the windows 11 and windows 10 version now whatever the uh, i mean operating system you are using you can select that and then you can download it and you can install it so you can see it is getting downloaded and you just need to open it and install it and then your issue will be fixed so these are the two fixes the first one will work for most of us and second one will definitely work for if the first uh, step doesn't work all right you can let me know in the comment section which step has worked for you and guys please hit the like and subscribe and leave a comment i really need your support i'll see you in the next tutorial have a wonderful day